Gigantamax Pokemon are now in Pokemon Go, or at least hopefully they will be. It just hit 10. I'm reloading the game just to make sure that they all load in correctly, but I'm also in Tokyo right now. I'm in Ueno Park, and hopefully we will see some Gigantamaxes once we've loaded in. Oh, there's a Blastoise over there. Awesome. Okay, so there are some things here and there, and there's a Charizard right over there as well. Awesome. So it looks like there are some things. Hopefully there's going to be some community here that wants to do these. Oh, there's, a, of course, inside of the zoo, there's like a Charizard that people are doing. Unfortunately, I can't go into the zoo, so let's see if there's any other Oh, there's tons of people on that one. Let's try to go over there real quick. We've now made it to the lobby. Had to run over here. Oh, man, we're not even close enough yet, but there are 15 people. And it looks like it costs 800 MP to get into this. And there we go. We made it. And we got 18 people. Not bad. But I've been hearing you need like 20 plus. There's been a lot of people that have been having issues with them. So hopefully we'll be able to beat this thing. But I'll ready up just to make sure. And I'm very excited for this. Here's hoping we can pull it off. All right. It looks like we're doing this with 20 people. It's half the max, which is 40. So hopefully we can pull it off. I have some Blastoises. They're all at level 40. And to be honest with you, I don't quite remember what the last thing was, but from what I remember seeing about this is, this is more of a marathon instead of a sprint, you know? You want to go in here with as much damage as possible, but it's not going to be something you can do super fast. As you can see, this Blastoise is taking a bit of damage here. And it's definitely important that everybody gets as many of these uh, Dynamax boosts as possible. But man, this Fire Blast did a lot of damage. Hopefully we'll get this Blastoise out of here. You know what, actually? Let's sh uh, switch to Gengar. Just to be extra safe, we want to keep the Blastoises, because the Blastoises are what does the damage. There we go. Let's switch into this Blastoise. And there we have it. Dynamax Blastoise. We'll see how much damage we do. But it looks like we're doing a decent amount of damage right now, so that's good. Max Geyser. Bang. Yeah. It's not doing a lot of damage, but it's kind of weird, too. It's, like, telling me that there's a uh, person with low health, but, like, yeah, let's just use the Max Spirit. Let's try to heal some people. But, yeah, decent amount of damage. Nothing too crazy, unfortunately, but we'll see what we can pull off here. I've been seeing that basically what you want to do is just get as much energy as possible, and you should be able to Dynamax a lot. But now it's preparing a large attack, so I don't know exactly what that means. Oh man, it almost took out the Blastoise. All right, switch back into Gengar. We don't want to lose the Blastoise. We need to keep these Blastoises. But we are doing okay all in all, so that's not bad. And as the Gengar gets in here, it misses the Fire Blast. Thankfully, we'll just bring in this almost dead Blastoise so we can bring in that super effective damage. But we're doing okay all in all. We really are. Let's just get the damage. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to heal at least one more time. I don't know if Max Spirit heals either people, but let's just use the Max Spirit. Though I feel like this Blastoise is more than gone at this point, but let's get the Hydro Cannon in here at least. And it looks like there's only nine people remaining. Oh my goodness, that is not good. I thought we were going to do a lot better, but we might actually lose this. And Gengar just gets absolutely wiped. That's not great. Let's get this energy. Oh man, we didn't even get the energy. Here on our last Pokemon. We might not pull this off, unfortunately. Oh, well, that is not great, but who knows? Maybe we can pull it off still. I'm thinking we should definitely... Oh, this one doesn't even have the Max uh, Block or anything. All it has is Max Geyser. Got it. Well, that's definitely definitely not good, but I guess we'll just do as much damage as we can, but I think we're gonna lose this, unfortunately. And with 20 people, that is pretty ridiculous. And actually, we're down to our final four people, so it's looking like we lost this one. These are pretty hard. I didn't expect them to be this rough. And now we're down to the final two. It's literally me and one other person, and Charizard is now taken out the Blastoise. Yep, there we go. Everyone's Pokemon has fainted. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's re-lobby up at least. At least hopefully we can. There's already 15 people in there. Well, now we have like 28 people, so maybe this one will be more doable. Plus, oh god, 33. Okay, we should be fine. At least hopefully we'll be fine. It's actually pretty crazy how we lost with 20 people. But 33 is far better, obviously. Way bigger number and hopefully they have some maxed out stuff. All of these Pokemon are level 40 and I've made sure to, for the most part, give them like max geyser and stuff like that, you know, make the max attack high, give it the healing abilities and such. But anyways, let's see how this one works out and hopefully it does work out because to be fully honest with you, it's got to be really unfortunate if we just completely fail every one of these. But with all these like Pokemon, like 84 Pokemon, we should be fine though. It looks like a good chunk of them did just faint out. <laughs> this Fire Blast does a lot. Oh, it's even overheat. That's even worse. Oh, that's that's terrible. All right, well, on the upside, Blastoise is now going to Dynamax, and hopefully we can heal this guy, because we're going to have to heal this one. Let's do the Max Spirit, just so we can get ourselves a little bit of healing here. There we go. Man, this thing is doing a ton of damage to us. It's pretty ridiculous, but the amount of damage we're doing is a lot better, so that's nice. And let's do one more Max Geyser. Magical. And here's hoping that we don't lose everything here, because it would be really unfortunate, but we are doing really good damage right now, and there's still 41 Pokemon here. And there's a Drizzile. 
That's exciting. Everybody loves a good Drizzile there. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking we're going to switch into Charizard. That way, yeah, there we go. It took the attack. I didn't even know that attack was coming, so I'm actually very happy with that. Switch in here, and then we're going to move back into Blastoise. I do think we're going to pull this one off. I really do. At least, hopefully, we do. I want to at least take a couple of these down, but even in Tokyo, we're having a bit of issues. Now, let's use the Max Geyser just as much as we can. Take this thing out as much as we can. There's only 25 remaining Pokemon. That is pretty rough. But at least we're doing decent damage. We might actually get this thing in the yellow, which is good. Well, not quite. Almost in the yellow, but not quite. And then we're gonna switch out into Charizard yet again. And there are people cheering us, so I don't know exactly what the cheering mechanic does in this game. Hopefully it's helping a lot, but you never know really with this stuff. And honestly, I'm just using this Charizard as like a just blocker, really. Like, we want to keep the Blastoises alive, so I know I'm not doing a lot of damage with these Blast Burns, but at least we are doing some damage. And we are getting a decent amount of Dynamax energy, which is nice. I do feel like we're gonna pull this one off, at least hopefully. I have a whole Blastoise in the back that's still alive. Oh, you know what? Let's use a Max Geyser here. And I think we're gonna use the Max Block. I want to see what that does, if that helps reduce the incoming damage or whatever. And I'm trying to use the attack. Oh, there we go. I guess it went through. Like, it wasn't letting me do it, though. It was all grayed out, but whatever. We now can throw a Hydro Cannon, and I do see that I have some shielding on my Pokemon, so you know what? Let's switch into the Charizard real quick. Did it work? Okay, cool. The Charizard's down. That's what mattered most to me. I didn't want the Blastoise to go away. And there's some more energy. We might actually make it before it throws another move, at least hopefully. But it actually did throw another move, so it doesn't matter. Wanted, like, take your pace with it, and at least it looks like it's gonna happen this time, but man, it is very rough. If you don't have a big community for this, I really don't know how we're gonna pull that off. I've been hearing about people with 40 plus lobbies losing to these, which is really unfortunate. And there's also only seven Pokemon remaining, so I really don't know how we're gonna pull this thing off. Not even in the red yet, and there's the overheat, so that Blastoise is definitely gone. Yep, I mean, that's crazy that with three people, we're failing this, but, you know? And by three, I mean 33. The upside, when we lose, we don't lose all of our energy. Like, we still get that max power stuff, so at least we can still use that, but I think I might be the last remaining Pokemon right now. Yeah, it says there's one left. I'm literally the last person, and with 33 people, we went down. That is really unfortunate. And there's the overheat. I don't think I'm going to win this one. It's literally just me at this point. Well, there we go. Completely fainted out. That is so sad. But we're gonna keep trying. There's 20 people in this lobby, so obviously I'm not gonna keep running through the scenarios with you guys, but if we get close, I'll show you that. I don't wanna jinx it, but I think we might actually be pulling this one off with 32 people, no less, so it's very surprising, but hey, at least we're actually gonna get ourselves a Gigantamax Charizard finally, and hopefully a shiny one. Also, we could be doing more damage, hopefully. <laughs> we're getting really close to beating the thing. There's 20 22 people. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be more than fine. Come on, please. Let's just take this thing out. I really don't want to lose to this thing. There we go. We're getting another Dynamax. We've got it. Well, that's a relief. Very happy that we pulled that off because my goodness, that was a very rough thing. I mean, we had to take three tries. From what I've heard, it gets a lot easier the more of these uh, Gigantamaxes you have. Oh, and I didn't even get to use a move. It's already gone. Awesome. Well, now that we're finally done with that, let's take a look and see what we get. One XL Rare Candy. We get Max Revive. We get 30 Charmander Candies. We get a Charmander XL, and we get 25,000 XP. Honestly, I really expected more, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Gonna skip out on the power spot here. I'm not gonna be paying any extra for these rewards, but do we get a shiny Charizard? That would be insane. No, we do not, and it is a 1616. This is not a really good one. You want 1651, I believe, as the hundo, but nonetheless, hopefully we'll catch it. Yeah, we definitely didn't catch it on a, such a bad throw. Hopefully we do actually catch this thing. Let me try throwing one more throw in front of you guys, but unfortunately my throws like this are pretty bad. Yeah, that was bad. I might have to switch to putting you guys down. One, yeah, broke out, doesn't matter. Much better, great curveball throw. One, two, yeah, it doesn't matter. Another excellence, come on, please catch. One, two, three, there we go. I'm sure we got it, yes we did. Again, it's not a really good one, but it is our first ever Gigantamax Charizard. So, there it is, and Gigantamax it, that is pretty sick. Ah, oh, that's such a cool Pokemon. Here's hoping we can get a really good one, because if we look at the IVs, it should be, yeah, it's not the greatest, 13, 15, 10, but at least we got it. This lobby's already at 37, so I have a feeling we're gonna be just, yeah, no, there we go, we had 40. We should pull this one off, at least hopefully. But again, I've heard people losing whole lobbies of 40 plus people, so we'll see. Well, I'm happy to say, I think we've got this. I mean, there's only 11 people left, but I really 
feel like we've got it. This has full health. Surprisingly, the whole max guard thing really helped my Blastoise quite a bit, but this is gonna do a bit of damage. Oh, surprisingly, not as much as I thought it would do. And there's only 10 of us left, but yeah, I mean, we got it. Hopefully we'll be able to do a Venusaur and a Blastoise. I'm sure we will. There is some down there that a lot of people are doing, but the ones that were closest to me, nobody was doing for some reason. But anyways, rare XL, max revive, 30 candies, we get an XL for that. So pretty much the same exact rewards. I would like to see there be higher rewards for these, because these are kind of hard to do, but how about a shiny? Nope, not it, and a 1606. This is not great. Looks like we're actually gonna get to do this Venusaur. We've been in like three different lobbies, but everybody keeps jumping out, but we made it to 40. Obviously, the best thing to use is Charizard. It is a fire and flying type, so it should resist pretty much everything except for poison moves. Poison moves are not great, but being fire and flying, you are actually double resistant to most of the moves that the Venusaur has. Obviously, a good blast burn doesn't hurt anything, but yeah, I think this is gonna be a lot easier than the whole Charizard was. I don't think anybody's even Dynamaxed yet, and we're using a, doing a lot of damage. Tell you what, let's switch into the Gigantamax just to see what it's like. Apparently it does extra damage and such, but I have not done hardly anything to it to give it any possibility of like actually having any like special abilities or anything. I'm not 100% sure. It seems like it's doing a decent amount of damage and it does this whole Phoenix thing, which is kind of cool. But I definitely feel like we're taking this out. There's no way we're not taking out this Venusaur. In fact, I didn't even get to use my second move. We just got to take it out. I'm assuming the rewards are gonna be exactly the same. So yep, there's an XL, a Max Revive, and the candies on the XL. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but not a shiny one. 15 at 24. I believe you want to be like 1554. I don't quite remember for this one. I do know that for Blastoise it's 1409. And it only took two balls to catch this thing. So there we go. Gigantamax Venusaur. Hopefully we'll get that shiny. All right, I gotta be a little loud here because there's copyrighted music, but there we go. A Gigantamax Blastoise. Well, I hate to say it, but this one has Ice Beam, which is not great, but I want to use Gigantamax Venusaur. Let's just see what happens. I don't even really know what the Vine Lash thing looks like, so let's see it. It's Pretty cool looking. I'm down with it. We should be able to take it out there. There was like 36 of us. I think it went down to 34 because two people left for some reason, but we should take it out, no problem. Then again, I said that about the Charizard the last two times, so we'll see. But already doing a decent amount of damage. We're definitely not in the yellow yet, but we'll get there. Minus the fact that this thing does, again, have Ice Beam, which is not great at all. I hate to say it though, this is my last Pokemon. I'm actually gonna faint out really soon, but on the upside, we're at least in the yellow. So I might be the weak link on this one, but at the same time, we should be okay. Might have to do a lot more dodging or whatever in the end of the day. We'll see what happens though. But if this thing didn't have Ice Beam, we'd probably be in a lot better situation, but because it does, it just does so much damage. It's ridiculous how much damage this thing does. But I've yet to actually faint out in one of these things before other people, so I don't even know what the cheering thing is like. Hopefully we'll make it just before it hits us with one more Ice Beam, but I don't think we are. Come on. Nope, there we go. I fainted out, so I guess it's time for me to cheer. So I guess I have to keep tapping to cheer, but now we know what that's like. <laughs> Let's just keep tapping and tapping. I don't quite know fully what all this cheering does, but we've officially made it. Yeah. Try cheering later. Okay, weird. So this is exactly what am I supposed to do here? Are we cheering to the max? Okay, well, I'm gonna stop clicking on it because clearly it's not doing anything. And the people using the Metagrosses are actually doing a really good job because at the same time, they resist pretty much everything, minus the water moves, but the ice moves definitely are blocked or are resisted. I'm losing my mind because I'm trying to stay focused. So I guess once you get the cheer meter up, you can use it when people are Dynamaxing. So kind of cool. Maybe it does extra damage. Not 100% sure, but we're definitely taking this thing down. There's still 33 people in here. And just like that, the Blastoise is down and we have literally six minutes until the next round starts. These do refresh every single hour, but I think we're gonna get the same exact rewards. XL rare candy, we got 30 candies, the XL, the max revive, yada yada, it's all the same. But do we get a shiny Gigantamax? That would be super cool, but that's definitely not it. 1366. So far, all of the IVs have not been great, but at least we're getting them. And just like that, we caught it. Let's take a look at the IVs real quick. Yeah, not the best, but it can Gigantamax, and looks really cool when it Gigantamaxes. I like this one a lot. So it turns out that doing the cheering helps with the max meter, which is pretty cool. Also, this is another Blastoise literally on the exact same spot, and we were able to finish it right away. We didn't have to wait for multiple lobbies to fill up, yada yada. But not a shiny, and 1369. Nice, but not nice enough. I'm sure this comes as a huge surprise, but the Charizard lobbies, they fill up super fast. It's almost like it's a really popular Pokemon that's been thrown into so many cards that people spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on them. Not that I would know anything about that, of course, but still really cool. I like that we're doing this. Plus, I just thought about this now. We're fighting giant kaiju-sized Pokemon in Tokyo. That's, like, really fun. And thankfully, everybody's getting Gigantamaxes, and this becomes a lot easier. Like, those first ones where we were failing a bit, that wasn't so great, but now we're doing really good. I don't think we've actually failed a lobby since that first Charizard. I am hopeful that we get a really good Charizard, or at least a shiny one. Out of all of them, obviously, the shiny Charizard is the best one, but it's not shiny and it's also terrible. 1601. That is 50 off of the hundo. That is not great, but at least it's extra candy and such. Another Blastoise here. This one was easier to take down. It had Hydro Cannon, weirdly enough, but it didn't have Ice Beam, thankfully. Ice Beam is the worst thing this thing could have, but it is not shiny in a 
1351. I've yet to get one with good IVs. I'm hoping that one of them turns out good. Obviously the Charizard's the big one because it's the most popular one, but honestly, I don't care any of them I would take. And we just barely took this Venusaur down. There was only like 27 people out of 40, but with Charizard, it's very doable. It's very, very doable, especially if you have the Gigantamax, so make sure you focus on those too. But anyways, do we get the yellow one? It would look cool if we got a shiny today, so nope, that's not it. 1506. Man, our IVs have just been the worst today. But hopefully we get a, nope, no shiny, and still terrible, man. Give me a good IV one of any of them. I don't care which one. And also I should mention that the other Venusaur we did ran on us. Guys, I don't believe it. I accidentally hit the button, but shiny freaking Blastoise, and it's a 13 1499. 1409's the Hundo, so this is literally just 10 off. This is a good one. And that's shiny nonetheless, and it doesn't matter. As long as we hit it, we get it. That is so cool. I am so glad that we got a shiny Gigantamax today. And of course, it's going to be a guaranteed catch like every other shiny when it comes down to these things. And I really shouldn't have golden raspberry it, but I'm kind of on autopilot. But let's take a look at this. 1399. Nice. I'll take that. 15, 13, 14. Let's freaking go. And if we Gigantamax it real quick, that's what it looks like shiny. Not a huge difference, but it is somewhat noticeable. Also, you might not have known this, but there is a G Max Pokedex, and if we go here, now we can actually see what it looks like. So this is normal, and then this is the shiny. Not a huge change. Obviously, it's the shell that changes the most, and the skin, but it looks like the red in the front is exactly the same both times, but I'm happy. A freaking shiny Gigantamax on day number one. Seriously, everybody, the Venusaur is the one to go for. If you're gonna have any issues over Venusaur, it's the easiest one by far. And it would be super cool to get this shiny as well, because we got the Blastoise. How about we back-to-back -back it? No, we didn't. And 1495. That is really bad. At least the shiny was good, which is very lucky. This is the first time I get to use my shiny Gigantamax Blastoise. We finally found another Charizard. Those things have been insanely rare for some reason, but man, I'm just so glad I got a shiny today. I was worried we wouldn't get any at all, but no, we got very lucky. I don't know exactly how many battles it was. I told somebody it was nine, but at the same time, I could be wrong because some of them were fainted out. And I was in a lobby when I looked it up, of course, but anywho though, I'm excited. Here's hoping we can get ourselves a Charizard shiny. That's like the big goal for me because it's like the best looking out of all of them. But in the end of the day, we've got a bit more grinding to go before I have to edit, and I feel like we're gonna get lucky. I feel like we're gonna get something really insane. Minus that Blastoise, of course. That was already something really insane. All right, Charizard, buddy old pal, please be black. This would be insane, but that's not it, and still bad. I'm glad that the best ID that we've gotten all this time has been the shiny. Like, that's been very good, because honestly, every other one of these things have been just terrible to us. Another Venusaur. Will you be yellow? No, you will not. 1499. Man, we're getting bad ones of this. Another Charizard, please. Nope. And, well, that is 30 off the hundo. At least we're going back up though, that's nice. This Venusaur took like three attempts because the lobbies were rough and we had Sludge Bomb for a while, but then it switched, but not shiny and 1502. We are not getting lucky with these IVs whatsoever, but at least we're catching almost every one of them. Alrighty, this one's a Charizard, not a shiny one, but 1634. That one's probably the best Charizard we've gotten so far. I really want to see this shiny, but I have seen a few people that got it, so that's cool for them. Accidentally checked this Blastoise already, but it was a 1399. That's another one of those, though luckily we got the shiny of this too. And it looks like we have another Blastoise and one one Venusaur. Another Blastoise. There's a lot of these out here. Not a shiny one though. 1385. Back to Venusaur. Will you be yellow? Nope. Still. And 1484. Oh my goodness. That is really, really bad. Kind of glad it wasn't shiny now to be fully honest with you, but you know, at least we're doing okay all in all. Back to Charizard. Sure, sure would be cool if it was shiny, but it isn't. 1618 as well. Another Venusaur. Please be yellow. No. And another bad one. Oh my god. This Charizard is not shiny and it's a 1601. We're just getting the worst of these. At least the one that was like in the 30s was okay, but I'm hoping to get at least a good one before we have to wrap up. Back to Blastoise. Not a shiny one and uh, 1359. Not good at all. Another Charizard with a whale in the background. Not shiny and 1600 exactly. I was really hoping the whale would boost the IVs at least. A few people have shown me their shiny Charizard, so it'd be cool to see one on my screen, but that's not it. Ooh, 42 though. That's up there. I was hoping to get a really good one and this one seems pretty decent. The best one I have so far is a 15, 15, 11 I want to say, which is pretty good all in all. But I have a feeling like this one could be good as long as I hit it with a good throw because that first throw was actually really terrible. Throw again, bang, excellent curveball throw. Very easy really when you get it down, but one, two, no, okay. So far I've only had one of these things run on me and it was a Venusaur, so I'm hoping that we don't have this one run on us. And it doesn't. All right, perfect. But now comes the question, how good is this thing? It looks good, 1642, all right, 96%. That might be something I like power up in the future. Venusaur. 
1543. All right, this one's up there. I believe this is 10 off the hundo, but at least we got a decent one, which is nice because all my Venusaur so far have been pretty bad. Accidentally hit this one, but Blastoise, 1365, not good at all. Took a while to get a few people for this Charizard, but luckily we did it. Not shiny and 1593, that's terrible. The phone is dying and the battery pack is definitely dead, so this might be the last one we can do. Well, let's see if Venusaur wants to be shiny for us. Let's see that yellow, nope, and 1517, not the greatest. We might be able to do it like one more, but I kind of doubt it, we're at 12%. And now we're back at the hotel and I am exhausted. I barely slept the previous night, plus with all the flights and stuff like that, so I'm ready to wrap it up. But we made it to 30 encounters in total. I know it says 28, but two of them did run, but that's awesome. I did do one more just after that Venusaur at the end, but I wasn't able to record it because we were at 5% battery and I'm very surprised I was even able to catch it. But anyways, let's go to the numbers here. We got ourselves nine Venusaurs, we got ourselves 12 Charizards, and then we did seven Blastoises, but one of those ran and also one of the Venusaurs ran. But of course the big win is the shiny one that is also a Gigantamax that has 15 attack and the 15, 13, 14. All things considered, a really freaking good one. So it was a really solid day. And it was really great meeting everybody that I saw out and about. I got to see some shinies, especially that Charizard. Quite a few people got that, and I'm super jealous, but super happy for y'all as well. I do want to say this before we wrap up the video. I understand for people in more rural communities, this is going to be insanely difficult for you guys to do. And outside of campfire, I really don't know an answer besides potentially allowing remotes for this stuff. I really don't know what the answer is right now. I will say Max Guard and Max Spirit are very useful, and I'll be doing more research in the future about that to see how much they truly help. But it definitely seemed to help a lot, especially Max Guard. There was a lot of times my Blastoise was gonna faint out, but it didn't because I used Max Guard. But that is something to focus on. It's not all just attacking at once. You do want to actually strategize a little bit. On that note, we're gonna wrap it up here. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Show me some love. And let me know in the comments down below, out of all the Gigantamaxes that are coming out right now, which one's your favorite? And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video right over here. But with that being said, I'm gonna go to sleep.